Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we have two lines, line uh, M that goes through these two points and line N that goes through these two points. And we need to find out if these two lines are perpendicular. And you notice here I have a theorem that says two lines are perpendicular if and only if the lines have negative reciprocal slope. So what we need to do is to find the slope of each line. So I'm going to start with line M, which goes to the points negative 3 and 6, and 5 and 4. And I'm going to use the slope formula, which I'm going to put it down here, which I will suggest you to remember. M equals Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. Now be sure this m stands for the slope and this m stands for the line m. So I'm going to call m1 the slope of line m and like I said I'm going to use the formula. I will suggest you to mark your points like this and let's see what we get. We get 4 minus 6 that is y2 minus y1 and 5 minus negative 3 which means 4 minus 6 is negative 2 and 5 minus uh, negative 3 is positive 8. And we can simplify that slope and we end up with negative 1 over 4. This is the slope of line M. And now let's move to the second line, line N, which goes through the points negative 1 and 2 and 0 and 6. So we're going to do a similar approach. We're going to call this first point, so x1, y1, and this one the second point, x2, y2. So we're going to calculate the slope of this line, which I'm going to call it m2. And I'm going to have y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 2, over x2 minus x1, 0 minus negative 1. 6 uh, minus 2, that is going to be 4, and 0 minus negative 1, that is positive 1. So the second slope, the line of slope, over uh, the slope of line m, which I call it m2, will be 4 over 1, or just 4. So now, after we find the slope, we really have to look if these two slopes are negative reciprocal, how we call it. There are two ways to look. Uh, one is a very algebraic way, which says the product of these two guys needs to be negative 1. So you look to this, negative 1 over 4 and 4. And if the product is negative 1, they are negative reciprocal, which they, it, it works fine. Another way is to start from one of the slopes you found. For example, negative 1 over 4 flip it, we see how I flip it, and then change the sign, and you notice I get 4 over 1, which is nothing else than this 4. In this moment I know these two slopes are negative reciprocal, so line M is perpendicular on line N, because the slope, like I said, are negative reciprocal. You can take a look to a graphical approach here on the right side, all right. However, the justification is nothing else than calculate the slope and see one of these two ways the condition, the fact that the slope are negative reciprocal. And you see I put a box here, that means this angle is 90 degree. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.